Yeah, sure. So it's a story based on a true story. He's gathered some interviews, gone to Chechnya and uh, met, met these women and dramatized it and created a story about women who decided that they wanted to bring their sons home from Chechnya. So it's based about the, uh, around the first war in Chechnya from 94 to 96. It's an incredible story really about the courage of women who've decided that they don't like what's going on and quite simply they're going to risk their lives to bring their sons home. Chechen women? No, it's actually Russian women going to Chechnya, although he's very careful not to name uh, either Russia or Chechnya in the play um, because he wants it primarily to be about individuals and how they come together to um, for collective action. Um, but actually watching it, you do realise that he's talking about the Russian mums who've gone down there. Mums whose sons might be serving. That's right, they're serving in the army, they'll be fighting in Chechnya, and um, you know, tragically many of them of course have died, so the mums are going down, not sure if their sons are alive and still fighting. Sometimes, they're, you know, in some cases they're lucky and they are, and they can bring them home. In some cases they're not lucky and they're bringing back bodies. Uh, rather than their, their living sons. Now, Noah, you know as well as I do that Chechnya is a politically sensitive topic in Russia. What is, why is this play being shown in London and not in Russia? It is being shown in Russia, but there's an interesting story about it. It's been showing in Moscow, but it's also shown in the regions in Penza. Uh, in fact, um, I've been told that a government official came to Penza and tried to close it down. Uh, but there was a, a protest uh, about that and they managed to, to keep it going, so it, it can still show there. But it is obviously a very hot topic. Um, the Russian government would like to say that everything is, is safe and sound in Chechnya. The reality is much more bleak than that. There's a lot of oppression, there's a lot of disappearances. Um, so really, even though this play is set uh, in the first Chechen war, um, and in some ways is specific to the First Chechen War, really it still says a lot about um, what's going on there at the moment and the difficulties that are still still being felt there now. How, how free uh, are artists and directors to work in Russia right now? Um, there is a little bit of direct censorship. I mean, I talked about that before in terms of government officials trying to shut things down but actually not succeeding. But really the main censorship that goes on is actually... Uh, much more subtle, it's self-censorship by the bigger theatres who feel that to show plays about topics uh, relevant to today um, is not relevant to the public and people aren't interested and they take that decision on behalf of the public. To some extent that might actually represent a lot of the broader public who feel that they'd rather see the classics as something much safer than watching new work. So it's not necessarily there's direct censorship but I think what happens is new work often doesn't make it from the smaller studio spaces into the bigger spaces. Um, and it's a real shame. I mean, in, in this country, we recognize the value, the intrinsic value of new writing. In Russia, it's taking a lot longer for that recognition to come. And he's certainly a playwright who's interested Might we see a play about Anna Politkovskaya? I hope so. And I'll certainly be talking to him about what he's writing and hoping he'll be writing on important political subjects. And would you direct it in Russia? Quite happily.